We've all been annoyed by mosquitoes at some point in our lives. These little insects seem to be out to get us, especially when we're outside enjoying a nice day. But while they may be annoying, there's no denying that mosquitoes are also incredibly cool and one of the things that makes them so cool is their ability to fly. They can flap their wings up to 600 times per second, which is insanely fast and allows them to fly backwards. Yes, you heard that right. This means that they're one of the few insects that can fly backwards, which is an incredible adaptation that helps them to survive. So if you're a fan of these little creatures, then you'll definitely want to keep watching. We re gone, not nah, take a closer look at how mosquitoes can fly backwards and what makes them such amazing flyers. There are over 3,500 species of mosquito found across the globe. In general, they are considered to be among the most dangerous animals in the world, because they transmit diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, West Nile virus and chikungunya. There are three main factors for their global success as a species. First, their eggs can lie dormant in dried up water sources for a long time until conditions are favorable for hatching. Second, females can feed on a wide variety of animals, including humans. Third, males and females usually only live for a week, but the female can lay up to 1,000 eggs during that time, so it isn't hard to see why there are so many of them around. But what really makes mosquitoes stand out is their ability to fly. They are perhaps the most efficient flyers in the animal kingdom and their flight abilities are truly remarkable. For example, did you know that a mosquito can fly backwards? That's right, unlike most other insects, mosquitoes can fly forwards, backwards and even hover in mid-air. And they do this by flapping their wings up to 600 times per second. To put this into perspective, honeybees flap their wings around 200 times per second. So mosquitoes flap their wings three times faster than bees. This is made possible by the rotation of their wings, which allows them to generate thrust in any direction. Additionally, they can change the angle of their wings while flapping, which gives them even more control over their flight. But it's not just their speed that's impressive. Their maneuverability is also top-notch. Mosquitoes can fly through extremely tight spaces without crashing into anything and they can even fly upside down. It's like they're the acrobats of the insect world. And finally, their endurance is also impressive. They can fly for hours on end without taking a break. No wonder mosquitoes are such efficient biters. They can find you even if you're hiding in a mosquito net. But how do mosquitoes achieve all this? Well, it starts with their wings. As we mentioned earlier, mosquitoes flap their wings up to 600 times per second. This is much faster than other insects, which helps them to generate lift and thrust more efficiently. The reason they need to flap their wings so fast is because it helps them to produce a constant stream of air moving downwards from their wings. This downward moving air creates lift, allowing them to take off and stay airborne. Additionally, the speed of their wings helps them to push the air behind them, generating thrust that propels them forward. But flapping your wings 600 times per second doesn't come without its drawbacks. As the wings move through the air, they create drag, which slows the insect down and requires extra energy to maintain its speed. But mosquitoes have evolved a clever way to reduce drag and save energy. When they flap their wings, they rotate them in a figure eight pattern. This reduces the amount of air that's pushed back by the wings, making it easier for the mosquito to fly. So not only does this help them to reduce drag, but it also helps them to increase lift and thrust. But there's another secret to mosquito flight that not many people know about. Their bodies are specially adapted to reduce weight and increase efficiency. They have hollow bones that make them lighter and more maneuverable. And they also have a special air sac that helps them to store oxygen. This allows them to fly for longer periods of time without needing to take a break. Additionally, mosquitoes have a high metabolism which helps them to generate the energy they need to fly. But despite all these adaptations, mosquitoes still have to contend with one major obstacle, gravity. To overcome gravity, mosquitoes need to generate enough lift to support their weight. They do this by flapping their wings at a certain angle. By changing the angle of their wings, they can adjust the amount of lift they generate and control their altitude. For example, if they want to go higher, they'll flap their wings at a steeper angle. If they want to go lower, they'll flap their wings at a shallower angle. And thanks to their super flexible wings, they can easily change the angle of attack while flying. But changing the angle of attack isn't the only way that mosquitoes can control their altitude. They can also change the speed of their wing flaps. If they want to go higher, they'll flap their wings faster. If they want to go lower, they'll flap their wings slower. But what happens when mosquitoes fly backwards? Well, everything we've discussed still applies, but there's an additional twist. When a mosquito flies backwards, it needs to generate enough lift to support its weight and overcome the drag of the air. 
To do this, it has to flap its wings in a different way. When a mosquito flies forwards, it flaps its wings up and down in a straight line. But when it flies backwards, it flaps its wings in a figure eights pattern. This allows the mosquito to generate lift and thrust in the opposite direction, propelling it backwards. Additionally, when a mosquito flies backwards, it needs to be able to see where it's going. To do this, it uses its compound eyes to look backwards. Mosquitoes have two large compound eyes that are made up of thousands of tiny lenses. This gives them a wide field of view, allowing them to see almost everything that's around them. But seeing backwards isn't the only thing that mosquitoes can do. They can also fly backwards without any visual cues. Using their antennae and other sensory organs, they can sense the airflow around them, allowing them to navigate and avoid obstacles even when they can't see. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how mosquitoes can fly backwards. But it's important to remember that all this happens in a fraction of a second. Mosquitoes can flap their wings up to 600 times per second, which means that everything we've discussed happens incredibly quickly. But that is just one of the many amazing adaptations that these little creatures have evolved over millions of years. They are truly the masters of aerodynamics. So next time you hear the annoying buzz of a mosquito, take a moment to appreciate the amazing creature that it is. From its ability to fly backwards to its incredible maneuverability, there's a lot to be amazed by. Just be sure to keep your defenses ready. After all, they are one of the most dangerous animals in the world. That's all for now. See you next time. Mugi Ko, the GP Ken 600 lane Mugi Goi. Insects have been on Earth for over 300 million years, yet most people know very little about them. Some insects like butterflies and ants are popular, but there are hundreds of thousands of insect species that have never even been named. You probably didn't even know insects could fly until you saw a butterfly flutter past you. But you can learn about the secrets of insect flight and more on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.